Hello everyone. Today we're going to go over how to copy data to Google Buckets using GS Search Copy 360 Enterprise. First, we need to create the bucket. So we log into our Google Console, and then we go to uh, we go to Storage Cloud Storage Buckets, which will take us to this screen. And then we don't have any buckets, so to create one, we just click on Create. We give that bucket a name. It needs to be a unique name. So GS uh, demo, Let's see if that's available. And then we click continue. Now it's going to ask where do you want to create it. We're going to go ahead and create it in one region. That's we're going to select Northern Virginia. So we'll click continue. And then it asks you do you want to auto class or do you want to select what kind of uh, cloud, uh, what kind of storage? In this case, we're just going to go with the default standard. We're going to go ahead and go with uniform, doesn't really matter which one you go, as long as we use the same account, test permissions. Uh, as far as protection, we're not going to do any versioning or retention, just for the sake of this demo. However, you can do so if you need to. Click create. I'm going to go ahead and confirm that, you know, we'll prevent public access. That's fine. Of course, we had that project selected for when I created under. So now we created the bucket. Now we want to go ahead and get the credentials going. So we click on, with that bucket selected, we click on settings, interoperability, and then we're going to go down and we're going to say we're going to create a key service account. Create a new account. Just give that account name. Uh, for this example, I'm going to go ahead and say call it GS demo. Create and continue. I'm going to give it a, an owner role. And then I'm going to go ahead and click done. So now we've created that. I don't need the access key. We don't need it from here. We're going to get it from somewhere else. I'm going to click close. So now that we've created the bucket and we've created the service account, we go to the Google Cloud. Um, and then once we go there, we click on where it says service accounts. See, that's the one we just created. We click on the three dotted lines here. And we're going to select manage keys. And we're going to go ahead and select add a key, create a new key. That will give us the information we need. It's a few steps, but that's how it, how it gets created. So we click on JSON and click create. That's going to download a JSON file right here. We open that file up. We copy the content to the clipboard. That's all what we're going to need. Select copy. Now we go to GHH Copy 360 where our application is. We right click here and say create a new job under the jobs tab. This is going to be a cloud job, so we're going to click no for the wizard. Now we're going to give that job a name, Google Bucket. Here we specify the source, which is where we're going to copy from. In this case, we're going to copy from a local disk. I'm going to click browse this PC, C drive. I'm going to select a folder called data. Um, we're going to go ahead and select copy as root folder. This is to create the folder called data. If we don't check it, it's just going to copy the content of that folder. And as far as destination, that's where we're going to pay a little bit more attention. We're going to select the drop down. We're going to select Google Cloud. Now we can't browse because we need to specify what account settings we're going to use. So we're going to click. If we had any Google accounts, we can select them from here. But since we don't have any predefined, we're going to go ahead and select Add. And I'm going to give that a label and name. So that would be Google Bucket Demo. Now here we paste the content of that JSON file that we downloaded and we opened up in Notepad. So Control-V. So asterisk, basically we hide the content of the data just for sensitivity. We click on test, connection established successfully, click save. Now we can click browse 
Now we can see GS demo that we've created. If we had other buckets that this credentials had access to under that project, we would be able to see them. So click on OK. Now you have all these different options. You want to copy changes only, mirror. Copy changes only for the first time is going to copy everything. So now that we've selected everything, we're going to go ahead and use four threads. You could schedule it if you wanted to. You could run it as a service so that it runs in the background. You don't need to have the software open or you don't need to be logged in. So we're going to click Save. Now the job has been created. To start the job, we can highlight it, right-click on it, and say Start Job. The job is now queued. If you click here on where it says queued, it will show you the progress. Or we can click on the Progress button right here. So we're going to go ahead and click, click on it. It's showing you that it detected 15 files. It's processing at 92 megabytes per second. That's about almost 800, uh, so 132 megabytes per second. That's about a gigabit speed right now. This is transferring across the internet to Google Bucket. So uh, we're getting it right now we've processed in 22 seconds, about two and, a, two and a half gigabyte. The job is successful. We click close. When you see green here, that means we encountered no errors whatsoever. If it's red, that means we encountered at least one error. It could be a file or so forth. If you click on the log, it will show you under errors what files that we did not copy or we had encountered problems with. Now, if you wanted to copy from Google Cloud, just simply double click on the job. For it's a source, you can just select Google Cloud. In this case, since we saved those in the credentials library, we can select that. You don't have to type it in again. And then if you click Browse, you'll see the folder data that we just created and we copied. And you can select it and copy anywhere else to your local drive if you wanted to or to another cloud provider, any of the ones that we support. I hope this video was informative to you, and thank you for watching.